Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I wanna show you how to use the Fuzz Wah plugin to apply an auto wah effect that can follow the groove of the drums or other instruments in your song. So the Fuzz Wah, you can locate under the filter plugins, it's right here. And the Fuzz Wah has a built-in compressor, a built-in fuzz effect, but the main section of the Fuzz Wah plugin is this auto wah section. Now, if you're a guitar player, you're probably very familiar with wah pedals. You press down the wah pedal, it opens up a filter, you you pull back the wah pedal and it closes that filter. That's essentially what this range option here does. As you pull this up, it's gonna sound like you're opening up a wah pedal. As you pull it back, it's gonna sound like you're closing that wah pedal. And you can set a high and low range for the wah here as well. You can choose from several different types of wah. I'm using the retro wah here. And what's really cool about the auto wah effect is that even if you're not like using automation to write in the range that you want, it will actually open up and close that range automatically based on the depth, attack time, and release time. So right now what the fuzz wah is doing is it's using the envelope or the waveform of the guitar part to decide where the wah opens up and where it closes. And right now I have the depth set to a pretty low value. So it's a more subtle effect, but if I pull up the depth, you'll hear even more of that auto wah effect come through. So you can hear on each of the transients in the guitar part that wah pedal is opening up and we're getting more of that auto wah effect. But what if you don't want the fuzz wah to follow the guitar, but to rather follow the groove of another instrument? Well, you can do that by making it follow the drums or make it follow a specific instrument inside of your drum kit using its external side chain input. So to do this with this drummer drum kit designer kit, I'm gonna have to do one of two things. One, I'm either gonna need to load this up in multi-output mode, which is gonna separate it in the mixer into overheads, kick, snare, toms, and percussion. And in this case, I want to use the snare drum of this Liverpool kit to trigger the auto wah to open. Alternatively, and the way I think is the better option, is to load up the Liverpool kit as a multi-channel kit. So you just come over to the library here, you can see here's the Liverpool kit. Let's go down to multi-channel kits and load up the Liverpool Plus kit. And so what that's gonna do, it's gonna put it in a track stack now. And if I open this up in the mixer and open up that track stack in the mixer, you'll see all of the individual channels for the kit. But in addition to that, you'll see things like a snare bus, a kick bus. So let's use this snare bus, which just has the snare on it. We're gonna use that snare to establish the groove of the auto wah. So the input on this is bus three. So what we're gonna do is come back up here, open up the auto wah plugin, and in the sidechain input, I'm gonna go to bus, and I'll select bus three. So now, instead of the guitar's waveform determining when the wah opens up, it's gonna be the snare drum that determines when the wah opens up. Now, we're not hearing anything just because we need to play around with the depth, attack time, and release time to sort of dial in a setting that works. So now you can hear that the wah is opening up on those snare hits, but it's a little disjointed. It sounds a little too quick. So let's play around with the attack time and release time, especially to get a, a bit more of a gentler effect. And I may even bring down the top range of that just because it's getting a little too harsh sounding. There's a little bit too much resonance in there.
And so now the auto wah is following the groove of the snare. And I pulled in the compressor a bit as well, just to control some of the dynamics and some of those higher notes, some of those louder notes. Now you could do this with just one instrument from the drum kit. You could really do it with any instrument in your mix, but you could also do this with the entire drum kit. So for example, the Liverpool kit's input is bus one. So if I set this to bus one instead, now the groove of the entire drum kit is going to affect the auto wah. So now when the drum kit is louder, the wah is more in the open position. When it's softer, it's more in the closed position. I think I prefer this just accenting the snare, but it's completely up to you how you want to establish the groove that's triggering the auto wah to open. So there you go. That's the fuzz wah and how to make the auto wah follow the groove of your song. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.